question, discuss the social and economic picture drawn in Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice provides a vivid portrayal of the social and economic landscape of early 19th century England, specifically the landed gentry and the emerging middle class. Here is a discussion of the social and economic picture depicted in the novel. 1. Landed Gentry The novel primarily focuses on the landed gentry, representing the highest social class of the time. Families like the Bennets and the Darcys belong to this privileged elite. The landed gentry's wealth is derived from inherited land and estates, often supplemented by income from tenant farmers or rents. They enjoy a higher social status, prestige, and influence in society due to their long-standing lineage and substantial wealth. 2. Marriage and Inheritance The social structure of the era places great emphasis on marriage as a means of securing financial stability and social standing. The novel explores the economic motivations behind marriage, with characters like Mrs. Bennett obsessively seeking advantageous matches for her daughters. Inheritance laws also play a crucial role, as the entailment system limits the inheritance of female heirs, making it imperative for them to marry well to secure their futures. 3. The Middle Class Austen also depicts the emerging middle class in pride and prejudice. Characters like Mr. Bingley and Mr. Collins come from this social stratum. They are typically professionals or have acquired wealth through trade or business. While the middle class lacks the aristocratic lineage and vast estates of the landed gentry, they pose sufficient wealth and social aspirations to seek alliances with the higher class. Their inclusion in social circles reflects a changing society where wealth and achievement can bridge class barriers. 4. Social Etiquette and Manners The novel delves into the intricate social customs and rules of behavior prevalent in Austen's time. Etiquette, decorum, and propriety hold great significance, particularly among the upper classes. Social interactions are governed by strict codes of conduct, and breaches of etiquette, such as impropriety or impoliteness, can lead to scandal or social exclusion. 5. Gender Roles and Expectations Pride and Prejudice presents a world where women's roles and expectations are largely defined by their gender and social status. They are expected to marry well and secure financial stability for themselves and their families. Education for women is limited, with accomplishments like music, drawing, and dancing serving as their main areas of expertise. The lack of legal and economic agency for women is emphasized through the character of Charlotte Lucas, who pragmatically marries Mr. Collins for financial security despite her lack of love for him. 6. Class Prejudice Austin explores the theme of class prejudice in the novel. The interactions between the Bennets, the middle class, and the upper class are fraught with judgments, assumptions, and stereotypes. The title itself, Pride and Prejudice, alludes to the biases and preconceived notions that characters hold against each other based on social class. The novel critiques the superficiality of class-based judgments and advocates for looking beyond social status to assess individual character. Overall, Pride and Prejudice offers a nuanced depiction of social and economic dynamics in early 19th century England. It explores the influence of wealth, inheritance, social expectations, and class divisions while highlighting the individual struggles of characters navigating these societal constructs.